Have you ever heard of Bai Lu Dong Academy? It can be seen as an Asian Chinese university. I live next to Bai Lu Dong Academy. Today, I will show you around this building, which ranks first among the four major academies in ancient China. Wu Lao Peak, located in Zhejiang City, Jiangxi Province, China, is the main peak of Mount Lushan. In the dense forest at the southern third of Wu Lao Peak, there is an ancient building complex built. In the Tang Dynasty, more than thousands years ago, Bai Lu Dong Academy. The main materials of the buildings are stone, wood, and brick. On November 4, 1595, Matteo Ricci, an Italian missionary, visited Bai Lu Dong Academy. Matteo Ricci said in a letter to his friend that there is a famous Bai Lu Dong Academy in Mount Lu, which is a place for studying the philosophy of life. Zhang Benxin, the president of Bai Lu Dong Academy, owned a high status among Confucians, and he has more than 1,000 disciples. They treat me with kindness and admiration, and often debated with me about major issues in life. Teachers and students in there would also love to hear me teach them math. If you take a closer look, you will find that the wooden pillars are all black. Why are they painted with black paint instead of other colors? The theory of five elements and eight diagrams in ancient China can be used as an entrance to understand this practice. Gold, wood, water, fire, soil, and the five colors, green, red, yellow, white, and black, correspond one by one. Black represents water and the wish that the academy will not catch fire. In 1179 AD, Zhu Xi came to the dilapidated Bai Lu Dong Academy and was very sad. So he presided over the restoration work of Bai Lu Dong Academy and became the leader of it. Bai Lu Dong Academy covers an area of more than 3,000 mu, which is close to that of Peking University today. But the building area is only 3,800 square meters. The rest of the area is forest. Academy has also created a very important educational form, the lecture system, which is an academic debate held by a large group of people. Teachers and students from all over the country will debate at the meeting, and different viewpoints met in the lecture hall, like a free market of opinion. Under the interaction of green trees, clear streams, and reading debates, the Chinese people's unique emotion for education has passed through war and famine, and has come to today's increasingly rich material life and more spiritual life. 